Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Yo, yo, man, check it, man. Hey, man, tapping in, man. Just figured it out, man. Big Meech is home. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys uh, uh, let us know, guys, uh, if it's anything you need on the Boss Talk 101 page. The membership is there. Everything is there. So let's get ready to talk about Big Meech, man. He home. Breaking news. And I got OG Pyru on the phone. It's a serious situation when, the, when they let a real one out, man. Uh, he was blessed to make it out of there. What's up, OG? What's up with it? Yeah, man. The day is the day. Is the day. And he didn't come across. Well, they they've been saying that he was gonna, he was gonna, you know, he was. They had shortened his time, and but you didn't really know what was going down. Like so, you and uh, the family, Big Meech's family, y'all, y'all. I've seen y'all on various pictures. You and his son, you and the mother. Just explain to me the relationship that you built with them. I did really uh, when they did the premiere. I was. Uh, 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 given the opportunity with one of the little old brothers that there with him, uh, uh, BMF Wavy, got with me and uh, invited me and Melvin Farmer to the premiere and introduced me to uh, Meech's mother and his, uh, uh, what is Ace Cone homeboys, Roland and, and Lil Meech and got a, got an opportunity to, uh, to kick it with his family and see, you know, what the, what the family unit was. That's why, you know, I had to come and recap with you about my estimation between Big Meech and 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 uh, Freeway uh, with Freeway and Freeway Enterprise and and Meech, but uh, they gave him thirty years in in two thousand eight, and uh, uh, two years ago they commuted his sentence. That I don't know if it was half or fifteen or what it, what it was, but he was supposed to get out in twenty five or twenty six, but uh, apparently. Uh, through something of the courts, they released him this morning. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what the information is, but you got a lot of soothsayers. Uh, Yosemite Sam was talking about he was a rat, and now only man, you, you talking about Malcolm talking about the chickens coming home to roost. Yeah, all, all of these dudes that did all that, that, that naysaying and talk now this boy the back and in position because you know they're gonna really do some stuff with him 50 is really in his corner so 50 cent is in his corner it's gonna be a lot of power plays for these the, these these rats that was talking about people as rats yosemite sam talking about everybody's snitching and you're the biggest rat on on public tv you know Wow! So now you got to be held to answer because that that was some business the West Coast shouldn't even been in, you know. So yeah, man, uh, I understand he got out this morning, and uh, it's 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 going to be amazing to see the transformation of all of these people that talk and 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 and, and brother on, he he on deck now. How long did he, I wonder if he left and he, they gave him a thirty year sentence? Then they reduced the sentence. What did he do? About twenty, uh, a little bit, twenty, a little over twenty. Two thousand eight to two thousand twenty-four. Eight, two thousand eighteen. He did about sixteen years. Wow, wow, and, and 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 to come home to to a situation like he has built for himself through his son and his legacy with his, with BMF and just the way that uh, Fifty Cent carried the legacy, you know, through his son and and just you know basically. You know, doing the things that he's done. What do you see happening with Big Meech from your perspective? I mean, he he's one of the very few people that come out of prison with a a, a real cushion. He he ain't falling no no hard times right now. Wow. So he he had you know he's coming home like royalty. So yeah. All he got to do is kick back and be him. He's gonna get interviews. He gonna get paid for just being him. Wow. So you, so you know, don't have to take no extraordinary chances. He'll be a fool to get out here and try to uh, put BMF back in. You know, now everybody's saying Blue Da Vinci's the snitch. Uh, you got, I understand Yosemite Sam is trying to backpedal now and, and talking about Blue Da Vinci, right? Yeah. So you're going to have a gang of this, but as long as he don't fall into the trap, and he got a good support team. You know, like I said, his mother's down. You know, his son, it's nothing that he really has to do but enjoy the rest of his life, man, because he, he, he coming home with, and that's the difference between 
success and recidivism rate is the foundation that you create. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you, um, like I said, you've been on various pictures with uh, his mother. Um, what was it like just meeting her and what was her, her whole, you know, how was her energy being that her son was locked up? Uh, uh, Meech's mother is just like my mother was. She was, she, she, she's the foundation. She's the shot caller in a subtle way, you know, and when she meets people that's genuine, not that I'm saying that I'm genuine, <laughs> but she accepted me, you know, just like she had known me growing up with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. She's a real uh, nurturing lady, and, and she, you know, she stays down for her crown. You know, whatever her sons did, she uh, benefiting with it, and she's she's carrying it with loyalty. I mean, from the little brief time that I, I, I was around her, she's a real elegant person. And Lil Meech is, you know, he's not on no Hollywood status. As, as far as I was running, he's a mild-mannered, really uh, humble dude. He act like I was a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, man, I, I, he's like, man, yeah, I, I, be on all you, I, I'm, I'm, I follow you. Like, bro, I'm a fan of yours, you know? Wow. Wow. Man, just a real, seemed like a real, um, laid back family that been through a lot like you know we all know that the charges that come up against a lot of the brothers that we see that's sent and and, and you, we know these trumped up charges a lot of time you know of course what you know everybody's wrong and right is subjective even the law when it comes down to our people a lot of times and so you know i don't go by what people have you know said about previous people's situations their convictions i really don't I know there's a lot of time that the system, a lot of time is not geared to help us, but to hurt us. So man, to see Big Meech home is a big, big, uh, uh, for me, success to see him coming home because he could have died in there. You know, many of his yeah. age and I, you know, yeah. heart attacks, uh, riots, all type of stuff could have jumped you know, off you know, in there. Like the, and you know, that's a thing <laughs> that we fail to realize as a people you know, what we call kingpins and what America says, you know, the drug trade. Do you realize how many people meets them, put to work, how many people that he was able to, they were able to feed their families because of his enterprise? Yeah, yeah. Now you're right, OG. It's, it's, it's some people right now because of BMF are, are accountants are real estate brokers working transportation because it's a real big business tra uh, uh, transporting narcotics from state to state, eluding the police. So you get some people that are really mindful of what they're doing, how they move stuff and don't have this formal training. So he's educated so many blacks to, so they can work where white America didn't educate them. Wow. Wow. Well, the thing I can say, man, is, you know, he's home now and it's a blessing and can't wait to see, you know, them celebrate. You'll see the celebrations online. He just like when his brother came home, you'll start to see him, you know, little skippets of him as he see how things are moving out here. I don't think he's in no rush to do it. I think he's going to take his time. And, you know, you and I both know, you know, once you get out of there and people start coming at you, you have to sit back and look at things and try to figure out where you want to fall in this whole diameter. Why, why, you know, why the common denominator is the fact of where is my peace at so I can keep living and stay out here and stay alive and pretty much enjoy life. You know what I mean? That's right, man. So thank you, man, so much, man. Hey, man, make sure you guys get in the comments, guys. Let us know, man, what you think about Big Meech being home. OG Pyru call in with the explosive news that Big Meech is home. And that's crazy, man. After all these years and everything that he put down, man, through, do, you know, yeah, he, he did his wrongs. But, man, don't you think the price has been paid? Did he pay enough? Let us know in the comments what you think about Big Meech being home. This is Boss Talk 101 reviews what a boss's talk boss's talk yeah we on boss talk 101, 101. yeah we gonna talk